Yo, so I'm back for part four. I'm almost, I think I'm almost done with the game. I'm not 100% sure. We did three missions last episode. Why do I say that? I did three missions last video. Um, I'm gonna do two more. After that, I'm not doing one on tomorrow because I got Super Bowl Sunday and I got people coming over. I just finished cooking. Um, I'm gonna start trying to do this, man. I ordered uh, some streaming stuff. I'm gonna have a video thing up here. We're gonna start improving it. Yeah, man. Let's get straight to the shit, mate. Am I tripping? Dinner's cold. Oh, did I not finish this? Can I skip this? All right. I don't know why he's doing that. Work. Oh, we go. Just play it out. I think my daughter's coming down the stairs too. So, if y'all hear her in the background, it is what it is. All right, so that one don't count, y'all. Hey, boss. They came as soon as they got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. All right, I'm gonna mute my mic. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books to see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. 
This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? Damn, y'all. And I thought it was gonna be Paulie and know. Sam, yo. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown it. Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. And when you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Tommy. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got your clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. Hell yeah, I want it. What is it? Damn! Tough day today, Tom. Frank sees a Lapara. You'll know. The old ways work. <laughs> it's, I ain't scratching it. Oh, paint job, A1. Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> What's it worth to you? Twenty bucks. How about forty? All right, spill. The FBI's in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Find little Tony. Got a fine tone. Shaping up to be one of the best on record, with both teams matching one another blow for blow. 
Despite the Cannon's home field advantage and an early lead in the series, the Lancers have bounced back and have really taken their rivals to task. Many of the plaudits and column inches have been dedicated to one man. Lancers pitcher Bunny Smith is one of this year's standout performers. And with this series tied at 3-3, three he may well be the key man that brings the Wisdom Trophy back to last heaven. I don't know, bro. I'm out of it right now. I'm tired. I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to stand up while I'm fucking ain't cooking and shit. But look at this game, Valley, bro. If y'all got PlayStation, PlayStation Plus, when y'all got Xbox, but I just, um, it's worth it, in my opinion. If y'all like the story of my stuff. Everything okay, Tom? Nah. Nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Councilor Gilates brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Oh, Tom. wow. What's going on? Wow, bro, wow. Frank, 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 Frank. Frank, 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 Frank. I don't know if Frank's trying to hide some shit, or he trying to... We return yeah, now to the coverage of Game 7 of the Gold Series. And by the looks of it, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be underway any minute now. The crowd here in the armory are restless. You can almost taste the tension as we approach this, the deciding game between these two famous rivals. More than a little bad blood between... Let me change the shit. We need some music. Forty-row. They seem responsive to whatever he's saying. He commands respect from his team. That is for sure. Your left. My Let's goodness, see. there must be some nerves among some of the younger Lancers, Elms, Graves, and Nicholson. Sure seem to have kept them up. That's good to see. That's what a good captain does. The cannons lineup is meandering over to the home team dugout. The Lancers are slowly taking up their position, so we can't be too far away from the opening pitch here at the Armory, the home of the Empire Bay Cannons. Stay with us for more. I'm listening to a whole virtual baseball game, bro. What the hell? Straight smoke, engine over. Looks like the place. Take me to those account books, Frank. And we return now to cover what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. 
A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation, it's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors, Big Break Cigarettes and Lost Heaven Courier. Both of these teams could be said to be entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the core with promising youngsters set around them. I refer, of course, to Smith and Seidel. The Cannons have had several such golden periods. The Lancers, it's fair to say, have not. I can see Lancers manager Frankie Hodge prowling in front of the dugout, gesticulating. He seems... Imagine if my car just broke down, that shit would be funny as hell. Like if cars was to break down and I was fucking following this motherfucker. Frank. Funny as hell, I got somebody pulled over on the side of the street. They take it off on my ass. What the About the easiest trail ever. God, ever. damn. Christ, they're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. You ain't gonna be able to walk in this motherfucker.
I heard, there's some guy the feds are handing over before he's flown out. Mama here.
Bitch, get the fuck out of here. Punk, bitch. Hey, you got a sniper? Are you gonna kill me, bitch? Ooh, somebody sneaking up. Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. This... ...for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on march, Alice. Get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, march! For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane. Please. They're going to die regardless if you think about it. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ. Oh, well, ah! Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Kill him or something. I didn't know there was no trade. Fuck me. Imagine if we got bamboozled. Good afternoon, sir. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. What? What, bro? What? Boom, motherfucker, what? I'm walking up on you now, ho. Look at this, bitch. What just blew me? Fuck you staring me down for? Beautiful day, huh? Uh-huh. Keep an 
out of trouble, I hope. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came, and to provide... If they continue to watch people shit like this, people who shit, there would be no bank robberies for real. Yes and no. I got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, Apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. Look at these houses. Big yards, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I don't like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor? The same. Morell let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. That him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si. Who capisce? Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di... di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Parliamo un po' di italiano? Il cappotti 
Signoretto il piano? Uh, I don't speak Italian. Eccellente. Look out! Uh, fantastico. Uh, no plan? Yeah, the boss told me. Uh, please, uh, uh, understand. Entriamo dal labirinto senza farci sentire né vedere. La cassaforte è dietro un dipinto al primo piano. Dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella cassaforte è sicuramente una I'm lana. Mexican, I ain't Italian. Uh, yeah. This is gonna be a long night for the both of us. Ah, Cristo Santo. <laughs> Cristo Santo. Ok, my turn. Do what I do. Do not get caught. Si. You gotta keep safe. Safe? Si. Uh, it's um, uh, my job. Apro casa forte. Open safe. Christ. Ok. Radio. Let's listen to the radio. Eccellente. Entriamo da lì. Labirinto. What? Oh, a maze. Sì, un labirinto. Stay here while I take out the guards. A quanto pare in America hanno il labirinto. Put the wrong night to come to work, brother. Evening for standing around, I guess. Ass up.
He gonna turn, <laughs> bitch. I think that's all of them. Salvatore, where are you? We're clear. Tommy, I hear. What the fuck he doing? Where the hell did he go? Son of a Tommy. Guys, a pain in the ass. Pick that motherfucking lock, man. Open. Kick. What kind of lock picker are you? Look for a dipinto. A what? Um, Painting, da brother. Vinci, uh, Caravaggio. Uh, I capito. Painting? You're saying it's behind the painting? Si, si. Okay. I understand. Non quello. Guess we got another room to check. Qui c'è un altro dipinto. Let's buy this one. Only wall behind here. God, I just fucking whooped her ass. They didn't let me put her down, bro. Like, put her down, put her down. Guess we got another room to check. Gotta be it. Nothing again. Mm, delightful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Qui c'è un altro dipinto. Uh. 
Uh, uh. Scusa. Sure. Show me what you can do. Shit. Be quick, Salvatore. Pacenza, pacenza. Lame ass fucking Molotov shit. Get some bitch in town, man. So I'm assuming that wasn't a prosecutor that fucking hell the view up here. A volte questo paese è estupendo. So this gotta be New York, ain't no way.
Salvatore. Here's Salvatore. Don't you have like a fucking thing where it can show me how far I am? Tommy, devo dirti una cosa. Al nostro prossimo lavoro penso io alla casa forte. Hai capito? Ci ho quasi rimesso la tele in quella villa. Ed è tutta colpa tua. E impara almeno un po' di italiano. Per rispetto della nostra patria. Ah, è come parlare al mio cane, lo so. Ma Cristo, dovevo dirlo. Non farlo mai più. Mai più. Ok, ok. Uh, sure. I'll pull you over. You know I will. Ooh. <laughs> oh, baby, I'm gonna get little. Nah, so that's the end of this one. I appreciate it. I'm gonna holla at y'all.